note. Good evening everyone, welcome to the live telecast of the Sri Lanka Rugby Under-24 League Tournament 2022 and today's encounter is live from the Thurston College Rugby Grounds, it's between all Wesleyites and the Science Maroons, lovely pictures here, overcast conditions but uh, certainly and hopefully we won't expect any rain to damper the ground conditions, both teams just done with their warm-ups, final preparations getting underway and of course uh, there are a few other games uh, there we go the teams lining up for the official introduction and during the warm-up it was noted the old Wesley team certainly preparing for this encounter a lot of uh, input was certainly done for the set pieces and science co the old science maroons team as well a few other games are happening around the country as well uwa province taking on western province and that's at the wind winds and dias grounds in badulla as well as uh, northwestern province taking on central province and that's at the maliadeva grounds Mal maliadeva college grounds at kurunagara so nice to see these uh, young rugby players being given a platform to perform, showcase their talent and this will no doubt only help the sport grow as well as the players an opportunity and just like we said the other games taking place today in week one northwestern province taking on central province in Kurunagala And the other game, Uwa province taking on Western province. And this game is uh, at Badulla. So all across the country, some rugby action to look forward to. They're all with the team. Just lining up for the official team introduction and the official photograph just a few minutes away from kickoff some prominent schoolboy names in uh, Dennis Taguna Tilaka all will be playing for Old Wesley and of course the match official so Suranga Arnashanta will be taking in charge of this game Just to keep our viewers informed, so today's live broadcast is brought to you by Sports Now TV. And this is the debut broadcast done for Sri Lanka rugby. But all action and all these images possible to the efforts of SportsNow.tv. So 
for any social media updates all you have to do is just follow follow sportsnow.tv on instagram and sportsnow.tv for facebook and www.sportsnow.tv for live updates of the sri lanka rugby under 24 league tournament Science Maroons lining up. Mr. Shamrat Fernando behind him. Now being introduced to the old Wesley players. Like I said, some famed names in Sahan Hansaja, Johan Ogbebo, Teek Shanavitanage, a player who just couldn't play his final year for or showcase his talents rather in his final year for Wesley due to the COVID forced break. The Science College, Science Maroons have uh, already made their way to the field. Final team talk, final team huddle just before kickoff and we expect the arrival of the Wesley players. Shortly, there you go. They're all geared up. So it should be a fascinating affair. And it'll be interesting to see which of the two teams uh, will settle into the game the faster, the quicker. Science Maroons most likely to run the ball out wide, but um, looking at the lineup which old Wesley possess. They do have some dangerous runners within their ranks. Former AC Patma Sent and Sri Lanka under 20 represented on the Patnaika. Just on your pictures. He is representing Science Moons in this tournament. Slight hold up, there's a small uh, checklist the referee needs to complete just before kickoff, just to make sure everyone is ready, everything is in order. Everything seems in order and we are ready to go. So, referee Surang Arunashanta gives the thumbs up. Here we go. Science Maroons kicking off proceedings against Old Wesley. 
straight to the player. And Wesley called Wesley Heights, deciding to dump it down the park and signs all the uh, signs maroons. Taking the quick line out option there. Some good pressure at the breakdown from old Wesley. So the impatience of uh, Science Maroons might cost them. Old Wesley straight into the attack. Fly half for Old Wesley taking the ball into contact. They need quick ball. The Blues. Good spot tackle there by the Science Maroons number 12. But Old Wesley still with possession. Taking it into contact center field. So here we go. Referee wants a reset. Coach! Bye! Today! Scrum is good. Feed is good. Ball comes out. Good pressure by Dennis Gunatilaka there, but still, Science Maroons with the ball. Kick it. Advantage. Long high kick, and that's a knock forward there. So, every playing advantage for the knock forward. No, no head, no head. Science Maroons retrieve possession. So that's a good gain there. Going into contact, but no way through. Big defense on the Science Maroons player. There's no real advantage, so the referee will come back for the initial knock forward. So far, apart from the few mistakes of ball handling, I think Old Wesley will be happy with their rush defense. They haven't let... Uh, their counterparts through some good spot tackles. It's still early days as well. Coach. But that will really build the confidence of the old Wesley players. Bye. It's the second scrum of the game will also go in favor of uh, Science Maroons. This time quick ball but fumbled by the Science Maroons player, so all the advantage gained by that kick just thrown down the drain. Wasn't under pressure, just a little lapse of con un concentration. Took his eye off the ball and dropped it. Just my call. Just come left. Yes. Coach! Bye! So Old Set. Wesley. So Old Wesley have shown that um, they are not afraid to play the territorial game, but this time the number eight breaks off that scrum, sets the pot up using their back line, looking for the inside pass, but that was well. Read by the Science Maroons player, roll away, roll away, covered away. the player, so that offload couldn't happen. Now, Science Maroons with the opportunity to counter-attack, they take it into the collision, 
but a loose pass there and once again no real advantage so the referee will have to come back for the initial infringement so both teams not capitalizing on the mistakes or the opportunities handed to them early on a few nerves perhaps first game of the tournament for both the teams so they just need to settle in there you go Science College, in fact, the Science Maroons player rather just kept the pressure on his man, so just couldn't collect that off loot cleanly. So, another scrum for Science Maroons, quick ball out to the fly half, thumps it across, and that's a good kick. Oh, should have done almost, almost. Fumbled it, yes, in fact, he has taken it into right touch. Off. Young Ogbebo was backtracking, just didn't read it clean. And now, Science Maroons with the perfect opportunity here to launch an attack. Line out 10 meters out from their try line. Come here. But first things first, they'll have to get the line out right. One meter gap, please. On the line. Hooker, two meter. Hooker. Hooker, yeah. On the line. Straight line. Science Maroons with the line out. Line out is fumbled. Old Wesleyites collect possession. Dennis Tagunatilaka goes into contact. They concede the penalty. So once again, another opportunity for Science Maroons. Takes a quick tap. No way through. Goes on the blind side. Lovely offload. And that's the first try of the game. Was it? Oh, in fact, he had his foot out. That was some lovely work on the blind side. Lovely hands. But just ran out of space. And his foot was out on touch. That was a chance, perfect chance to open the scoring. But Old Wesley survived. Number nine back. Here we go. Lovely pop pass. But he just stepped out in the last moment. So Old Wesley with the line out. The line out is clean. They opt for the rolling mall to create some space to create the angle. But still going. They might earn themselves a penalty advantage as well. Dennis Gunatilaka brings it out and then switches play into the blind side. Ogbebo goes into contact. So the old Wesleyites have gained ground. But big pressure coming in from the Science Maroons. Number five, um, Ruchit Hapugale, who represented Wesley College in this year's Schools Rugby League. It's nice to see him taking part in the under 20 floor, representing all Wesley at Sports Club as well. Time on! Side entry. So coming in from the side, Science Maroons concede the penalty. And uh, Old Wesley have the opportunity to get out of jail. Long kick, finds the distance, but didn't go out of play. But kick back right into Old Wesley hands. And Old Wesley straight in the attack, but still inside their own half. So they've got to get out of jail first. But there you go, concede the penalty. And once again, another opportunity for Science Maroons now. And this time they'll opt for the three points. the goal. I said to number. There you go, the player cutting back inside. Yeah. Number 10. 
not supporting the body weight, I think, was the call there by the referee. So the Science Maroons have an opportunity of getting the first point on the board. Nadun Kavisha taking this kick. John Moon, number six, blue, number six. So Kavisha lining up this kick. He says the uprights and sneaks in. So the first points on the board for Science Maroon. For Science Maroons just will might uh, help them to settle the nerves. Both teams looked unsettled. Hopefully this will help Science Maroons. All Wesleyites with the restart kicked out on the full just okay. what they didn't want. They really need to settle down here. Got to play the territorial game, not rush things. Still just over 10 minutes gone. So plenty of time. But if they keep making mistakes, it's not going to help their cause. So center field scrum here for the Science Maroons. Bye! Number 8, bye, Dane. Number 8, number 8, bye. Punch it down, but straight into the hands of the old Wesley player. Beats the first defender, decides to power his way through, but a good tackle there by the Science Maroons player. Made the tackle count. Tennister looking for options, Back. looking for his forwards. Back, please. Back. Good tackle there by the Science Maroons Back. player. No way through, so old Wesley struggling, but beats the first man, now has an overlap. Good offload as well. This could be the first try for old Wesley. Oh, unfortunately, the referee calls it back. I think it was not that pass, but the pass, pass before that, which was forward. <laughs> Lovely passage of play, but uh, just couldn't make it. Oh. There you go. That was the pass, which was forward. Ready? Coach! Bye. 14 minutes gone in this Nippon Under-24 Rugby League. Science Maroons leading 3-0 courtesy of a penalty kick and another penalty. And just like we said, old Wesley just need to settle down a bit here and grow themselves into the game, just conceding penalty after penalty. And that's a good kick, good touch finder, taking his team inside, just inside the 22. Good kick there by the sci old science, science maroons fly half. Top of the, top of the, top of the. Ah, 
Come again, red. Oh, oh. Half meter, half meter. Set back. It's okay. No, 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 no. Just play on. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, hey. Number eight. The rug foam. The handle in the wall. Rug foam. Fuck it. Time off. Slight hold up here, slight injury, small injury it seems for the Science Maroons uh, top four with their shoulder injury, giving the players a little breather. Dennis Tugunatileka giving out the instructions there for his team. So Time on. This live broadcast is brought to you by sportsnow.tv. The first time promoting rugby. We're doing a fantastic job in covering the Nippon Under 24 Rugby League. A tournament Captain, revived four. after Captain, 10 years. Captain, Captain. Giving the opportunity okay. for schoolboys, especially the schoolboys who missed out during uh, the past two years due to the COVID forced break. And props up okay, to the ball. sponsors okay. as well. Nippon Paint, the title sponsor, the main sponsor hey, for this you tournament. You and you of course, you backed you up by back. Elephant back. House, WebEx back. Pay and Prima Kotumi, the co-sponsors. Of course, without them. This wouldn't have been possible. So, Old Wesley getting back to the action, trying to work their way through out of trouble, but still, the Science Maroons' defense not scattered by the attempts. Back, please. So the Blues this time find some width, but there you go, once again, quickly shut down by the Science Maroons defense. And that's because their forwards are just not doing enough. They need to get some front football and create space on the outside rather than just pass their way laterally. And just That's just shutting down any room they can gain in the corner. And I think first things first, they, they, they just need to play some rugby on the other side of the pitch. Right now, they're just stuck in their own half, even though they get possession just like that. Line out, they steal it, fly half, takes it into contact, was looking for options, never saw it, never got it. But they kick it right away into the Science Maroons' hands who return it with interest. And a good hit there by Gunatilaka. They send it out wide, but the ball is lost forward. And uh, it's thumped forward. This old science player tried collecting it first time. Could have done better by just booting it ahead and then tried it. But uh, wrong option there. Wrong option because it didn't come out well. <laughs> but the simple idea would be to kick it ahead and then try to collect the ball. And another opportunity goes begging for the Science Maroons. 
Okay, ready. Second. Replay. Fight to collect it. Bye. Just didn't get down. Set. Body positioning wasn't the best. Okay. So the Blues with another scrum. Inside there, 22. Good pressure by Science Maroons. They do well not to concede the penalty this time. And uh, Old Wesley really need to clear their lines. They're just putting themselves under enormous pressure here. And this is unnecessary pressure as well. Going into the hits, taking this into contact inside their own 22. They've got to play basic rugby. Gunatilaka sends it out wide. The kick is charged. Time off. Was the player in offside position? The kick was charged. The referee just wants to have a chat with the linesman. On. No con. No advantage. So it's a knock forward. Come in. Seemed that if the kick was charged down, or perhaps the second player knocked it forward while attempting to collect the ball, we'll have to see. But yet again, it was uh, all of uh, Wesley's own undoing. There's the attempt of a kick. Set. Good pressure there by Science Maroons. That's a high shot on the number eight. It could be a low card as well. Time off. Captain Red. Or will the referee just have a word with him? Say it was the first offence. He will reach out for the pocket. And the number six of Science Maroon will have to spend 10 minutes in the bin. Time on. <laughs> Dangerous play. Smart catch. There you go. Just wrapped his arm around the shoulder of the player. So all Wesley really struggling here to get any momentum going on their side but now they have a man advantage as well it'll be interesting to see how they'll be able to use this advantage of course it's a forward who's in the sin bin the ball and the ideal scenario would be to first gain territory They're still in just inside their own half the ball Good line out for the rolling mall. The referee avoiding another penalty. Good line out, but the science player there. You go. That was cynical. No other intention apart from stopping that rolling mall immediately. And now, Old Wesley, with a good opportunity Numbers. to Numbers. launch an attack just outside their 22. 10 meters, red! Not straight. But there you go. Cardinal. Line out, not straight. And they concede Someone position just like that. Not straight. Well, the second row's body position when he collected that ball tells you the story. 
didn't even have to go sideways. Just all he had to do was collect the ball on top of his head. Junior Bebo there. Playing in the wing for his team. Bye. Set. Today. Okay. Play on. Good pressure there by Old Wesley during some time and under pressure, the Science Maroons player fumbles it forward. So there you go. That's what pressure can do to you and playing rugby in your own half, inside the opposition half. Rather, now another opportunity for the Blues. They've been under the pump, you could say, for most of this game. Doing all the defensive work. But now, they have a good opportunity to launch an attack. And get some points on the board. Ready, boys! Gunatilaka with the feed in. Hey, hey. Fly half, Bin Haj looking for support. Roll away, number 12, roll away. Sends it to Gunatilaka, goes into contact. Number 12 back. Forwards trying to buddy up and gain some ground. No, 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 no. And that's what they need to do. The Blues gain some momentum as long as they don't concede possession. It's nice to see forwards finally trying to create some phases. Goes into contact yet again. Trying to construct the play. The Blues forwards. This time comes out wide. Minhaj goes into contact and then knocks it forward. That wasn't in the script, but Minhaj trying to force the issue there and giving away possession. So yet again, Science Maroons pumping hey, 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 kick, but straight blue to back. Bithan again. Okay. Not collected cleanly. Okay. And a kick out of sheer desperation, but uh, turns out to be a good kick. They take okay. it quickly though. So once again, okay. meters gain, but um, yes, so it was taken quickly, but it was supposed to be a science college, uh, science maroons, in fact, uh, line out. The player apparently touched the ball before it went into out of play. So that's a huge gain by science maroons. And old Wesley paying the price for indecisiveness. And that man on your picture, Minhaj, was the guilty person. Took into the contact and then uh, gave away possession. And just like that, old Wesley find themselves yet again back inside their own 22. And they'll have to do the defensive work and start all, start all over again. Red ball. Makia, Makia, Makia. Blue. Meta, meta. Red. So 28 minutes gone Makia. in this game. Red. Sri Lanka Rugby Blue Under 24 Rugby League, powered by Nippon Paints. Red meter. And like we mentioned before, tournament okay. established after 10 years, and a great opportunity for young players to showcase their talents. And just like that, there you go, superb defensive effort. Had a man outside him, had the advantage, but a big thumping tackle there by the old Wesley player. Stopped that attack. 
right on its track. Still with possession though, Science Maroons. Trying to find that gap. They're a man down due to the yellow card for their okay. flanker. But this is what they need to do, keep possession, play their attacking rugby. But they're just not finding the width they want. And that's because the lack of construction in their forwards play. Now their forwards try no, 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 really. to make something happen. They just need to be a bit more patient here. Treat the ball with a bit more respect. But there you go. Punt, but straight to the player. Calls for it. That's Tikshan Abitan again. But still, I think Science Maroons won't mind this at all. Just running down the clock on the yellow card. And pinning their position inside their own half and in most cases inside their own 22. Okay. So if you just tuned in to sportsnow.tv, you're watching the Nippon Under-24 Rugby League. And of course, um, please do subscribe and like the Sri Lanka Tuskers and sportsnow.tv social media channels for more updates and to keep following these tournaments for Instagram. It's sportsnow.tv. Tikshan Evitan again. You can see he has spent quite a lot of time in the gym. But just hasn't received any. Or rather proper feed from his fellow backs. No problem. Dangerous runner, he can be. He has shown in patches during this game as well. It's just that he has lacked support from the two players outside of him. Managed to get the line out. Decides to give the ball some hang time and take Shanivitan again. He called for the mark in air, so I think the referee allowed play to go on. So Science Maroons not conceding the penalty. Job one done. No, 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 Trying no. to add pressure no, here no. during the breakdown. A lot of these players trying to milk the penalty. High hanging kick, but collected well by the Science Maroons player. Sends it out wide. Desperation kick there, you could say. Collected by the Blues, number two. No, 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 no! Oh, once again, how many times have we said this already? Old Wesley pinned inside their own half. Even the attacking rugby which they're trying to put up has been inside their own 22 or inside their own half. Loves the ball to bounce and the Blues get possession. They need to secure this ball here. And on the blind side, attempt of a run, didn't find, see the space, so comes back in, but there you go, just drops the ball cold. And this is really not helping old Wesley at all. Seems like they're just stuck in two minds, whether to send the ball out wide or to take the ball into contact through their forwards. And no real momentum. Once again, just took his eyes off the ball before going into contact and just dropping it cold. So Science Maroons with another feed in to the scrum. The only positive I could say from uh, old Wesley's perspective is despite all the pressure, and the time this game has continued so far, it's just three points. Science College has just been, uh, in fact, Science Maroons rather, has just uh, decided to punt the ball and try to keep Will Wesleyites pinned inside their own half. Up. 
He wants to have a word with both sets of controllers just to keep it steady. The balance. Wants another reset. Coach! Bye! There you go, seems like route one from uh, Science Maroons, this time under a lot of pressure by the Science Maroons chasers, a good chase there. Looking for the players to get back, trying to give Gunatilaka. A bit angle. Needs to have some hang time on this kick. Thumbs it down. But straight to the Science Maroons player. Has been on the outside. Decides to go on with himself. Still with possession. Now they switch back play to the other side. Manula has been on the outside. Tries the offload. Didn't work out. But Wesley, old Wesley with possession, recover. And they are just inside their own try line. Helter skelter stuff. No proper organization by both teams there. Hadamon on the outside tried the offload. But the old Wesley player got in, got himself in the way. So five meter scrum here for Science Maroons. So they have come close out of the two teams on several occasions. For Messi Patana center there, Manula Ratnayaka had the honors of playing Sri Lanka under 20 as well during his final year for Messi Patana. And that number 14 for Science Maroons was Aaron Fernando. Former Josephian in three quarter. In fact, Aaron Pereira, the former Josephian in three quarter. So that's what it's all about. It's under 24 rugby league, giving all these young players the, perf the platform to perform. Time on. Scum. Red ball. Time is back on. Ready? Just under four minutes to go for the half time. Really want to assert their dominance here. Coach! Bye! Score or a margin which you need to Set. take into Ready. the half time break, especially after you could say being the better side of the two in an attacking sense at least. So the ball is sent out wide, the fly half goes into contact, no way through, needs to secure ball, finds his fellow forward, securing possession. Scrum half looking for options, but good pressure by Old Wesley. Science Maroons just keeping it alive. They need to, they need quick ball. The forwards taking it into contact. No, 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 head. Trying to create some phases, the boiler house boys. No, 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 no. But they're going laterally, not gaining any ground. And they knock, knock it forward eventually. Old Wesley come out with the ball. And there you go. Two on two situation, but the number 13 for Old Wesley just drops it cold. So perfect opportunity, a counter attack opportunity lost. But here, Science Maroons now with the p with possession. Floated pass there. And the wing winger for Science Maroon loses his footing. The ball just wobbling here and there all over the park. So Science Maroons ending up with possession, but this time they are inside their 22. Floated pass. Has a man on the outside. Here's Aaron Pereira. No, 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 Good no. spot tackle on him. Back. Back. 
Good defense by the old Wesleyites. And Science Maroons deciding to put the ball up in the air. Ogbebo has it covered. Got away from his first man, but not the second. Side entry. Huge pressure at the breakdown. Side entry. Number 15. The referee side entry. towards the penalty. Coming in from the side, okay. says the referee. No, just play. Take, take a quick tap. Advantage. Number one up. Going no into contact as well. Need to secure position. Number one. So not ten. Not ten. The referee one. will award Six. the penalty. Okay. Anyway, final minute here in the first half. So Science Maroons really need to make this count. They virtually park themselves inside this half. But they've just got three points to show for it. So that's his old Wesley player cutting his shoulder, but he's okay. Just a knock, perhaps. He's all good to go. Fumbles with it immediately. Luckily, regains possession and had the sense of awareness to pop that ball to the supporting player. No, the old Wesley players didn't retreat to 10 meters. Regulation 40 okay. minutes is up on no o'clock. Perhaps the final passage of play here in this first half has been hugely physical. Both these teams not shy of taking the ball into contact. But the final finish has been a bit lacking from both these teams. And uh, with that said, Science Maroons opting for three points. I think um, given oh. how the game has gone so far, I think yeah, that I'm has been uh, perhaps the sensible option they would to take. And Nadun Kavisha slotted in the first penalty kick with another opportunity with his second attempt. Just to add more cushioning on Number this uh, slender lead they have of three points. Not the easiest of kicks. Towards the right has the angle to negate with as well. Fin final glance at the posts. Kavisha kicks it but drips it wide. Twinto. And it is not the final passage of play because uh, I think we just have a few more minutes. In fact, I think a minute or so. It's the referee's uh, clock that matters. Behind the ball. Behind the ball. Behind the ball. Play. Just okay. And was that a fumble off the restart? That's very poor by uh, Old Wesley. I think they fumbled off that uh, restart. So another opportunity for Science Maroons. Coming back inside, should have sent the ball wide. But the referee will award another penalty. Coming in from the side. And um, another chance of going at goal. And yes, that's what uh, Science Maroon's up for. Sensible option. And this one, a much more easier kick. Right in front of the post. On the 22 meter mark. Should be a regulation kick for Nadun. And uh, the we old Wesleyites, who for a minute would have thought they would be going into the break with just a 3 nil lead, might now have to go in with a 6 points to lead. Easier kick. <laughs> 
and the referee's flags go up and there you go half time so science maroons lead this game six points to nil it's not been uh, high quality rugby but there has been patches of brilliance by both these teams of the players showing what they're capable of and uh, old wesley will certainly be disappointed with the start didn't settle into this game and they have to concede with a six points to nil lead so confirmation of the half time score science maroons lead old wesley at six points to nil in the uh, this nippon paint under 24 rugby league game so highlights of the first half and this was kavish's first kick sneaks it in and the second attempt a much easier one so two penalties of his foot, giving his team a six points to nil lead so we'll be going in for a commercial break stay tuned see you on the other side is meant to be lived to the fullest. Live with joy. Live with nature. Live with hope. Live with trust. Live with dreams. Live with happiness. Inspire your life with colors. Nippon Paint. Nippon paints live with colors. Here's crest cut another. Rasa guna itana. Rasa guna cut another. Paulama itana. Paulama inatana. Adere at the taram. Adere tireti. Santos it etaram. Santos it patrene met chickabalati. Here a cabadi and name Katagasman and Galayati. Katagasman and Galayan. Here's crest near my. Here's crest near the tana. Rasaguna nitara mai Kills crest Rasaguna sapiri rate ma supiri Wow hita kala nata vena Vanni ni ma vinduna Saradavi yata nari Kokkumi pantama Kokkumi pantama Prima kokkumi pantama The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need.
Life is meant to be lived to the fullest. Live with joy. Live with nature. Live with hope. Live with trust. Live with dreams. Live with happiness. Inspire your life with colors. Nippon Paint. Nippon paints live with colors. Kings crest got another Rasa Guna Etana Rasa Guna got another. राटे The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Nippon paints live with colors. Heel 
Jesus Christ Kotanada. Rasa guna etana. Rasa guna kotanada. Paulama etana. Paulama inatana. Adere at hitaram. Adere tireti. Santos et etaram. Santos et paturene magic balati. Chirka badiene. Katagasman agalayati. Katagasman agalayan. Kills crest niamai. Kills crest tianatana. Rasa guna nitaramai. Kills crest. Rasa guna sapiri rati masupiri. Welcome back. Second half action coming up. Ready, red. Of the Nippon Paint red Under 24 red. Rugby League encounter. Okay, okay. Old Wesley okay, and Science right. Maroons. Science Maroons leading the game. Six points to nil. <laughs> and straight into the game. Old Wesley will be looking to make amends of that scrappy first half. Really put themselves under pressure and invited Science Maroons, you could say. And the collection not collected cleanly and it's out to touch as line well. Out. So it will be a line out Number for Science Maroons. Line out red. Number 13 for Old Wesley. Completely mistrust the flight of the ball. No straight. And the line out is no straight, so scrappy there by uh, Science Maroons. Blue ball. Just like that, inviting pressure on themselves. Collected it, collected the ball from his outside shoulder. Not the best of throws by the Science Maroons hooker. Hey, mark it, mark it, mark Coach! Set! Ready! No, no, no! Advantage, number seven! Just playing advantage, number seven, not binding there. Taking into contact, no advantage, so they have to come back for the initial infringement. Not bind. Number seven. The blues not this, not Number seven. Rushing things and they really need to settle down here. The captains need to take authority of his team. Settle in and play according to the game plan. Bustling number eight. Ran laterally. And this time they opt to kick it out to touch. I think it's the first time uh, the blues have got a real threatening position for themselves. After doing a lot of defending inside their own half, inside their own territory, can they make this count? Really change the tide if they can score off this uh, position. So early in the second half as well. But a key line out. Need to get the line out right. Good pressure by Science Maroons, but Old Wesley still with possession. Forwards. Trying to rumble their way forward. First carry is good. Another carry expected by the Old Wesley forwards. Good buddying up there. Ball is loose. And that was played while the rock was formed. So the referee awards another penalty. Taken quickly by the Old Wesley. Prop forward. Gains good ground. And the turnover is good. Once again, Old Wesley paying the price. And the ball goes out to touch off that kick so science maroons get out of jail okay. so in this second half Number i'm joined by the legendary Number mr nalin de silva who is also the tournament committee chairman welcome and good evening sir good evening, good evening all viewers nice day today the weather god is with us because it was uh, yesterday, it was pouring, uh, back, and uh, back, back. thank you very much for back. first of all our uh, sponsors, the Nippon Paints, Elephant House, Kotumi, and Bebex Pay. If not for y'all, we wouldn't have done this. And thank you very much, uh, Sports Now TV as well. Uh, 
so the the i uh, very unfortunate very very unfortunate situation over here uh, straight away as you rightly pointed out vishan uh, uh, this is uh, it's scrappy play very unfortunate uh, i personally feel due to due to lack of uh, game experience or match experience because these boys have played good rugby in their respective schools and uh, the, the the you can straight away identify uh, no finish in the movements uh, they they play good rugby but no finish that clearly shows due to lack of experience uh, the reason why sri lanka rugby is getting involved in under 24 rugby is uh, for the last 3 years these boys didn't have any uh, a, a tournament to play of course in their schools they would have had some some after leaving the school uh, no games at all so they have been starving for uh, matches no the, uh, we estimate we estimate uh, we estimate say about 500 to 600 school boys who have come out of schools for the last 3 years they have been starving or without games Uh, looking for games so there was a huge demand from these type of clubs uh, to somehow have a tournament for under 24 we didn't want to have under 22 but under we made it under 24 to get the get uh, many more players into this you can go ahead ishan uh, i will i will i will come out with more yes good insights on how and why this tournament has been originated by the Sri Lanka Rugby Play Football on. Union as we no, just getting back to the action and science maroons now just as the first half find themselves inside uh, the old west 22 trying to pierce that defense but so far neither team has been able to do that this time science maroons looking hey, dangerous hey, 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 hey. ball is not secure during the breakdown but still science maroons get the ball back inside no, no, playing advantage for offside this time they send it out wide but coming back inside opting to go for contact so that's really depriving Mark. players outside Number any bit and another penalty right in front Number of the 6 taken quickly could have gone for 3 points and really put some distance between themselves Okay, 10 meters. That's not 10. That should be a yellow card. Yellow card. And it is the old Wesley scrum half will pay the price this time. The time link off. man who was trying to add some attacking impetus into the team is now going to spend 10 minutes in the bin. So interesting to see how an already struggling old Wesley outfit will do 10 minutes without their key man. There you go. Can you see the flag? In the north chair. Now this is uh, really interesting to see how Old Westley will cope without him. They have a penalty. An easily kickable one as well. I think they should take the three points and add some distance between themselves. no injury concerns for the blues because that's their other dangerous player fiction in tanage he's okay on his feet seems to have uh, got a hard knock on his shoulder but he's okay, fine no? he'll walk it off time on yeah, science moons again once again opting to take a quick tap had the man on the outside but that's a forward pass so all that advantage thrown away down the kitchen sink and this is where teams really need to be patient it's just 48 minutes on the clock you just can't throw away opportunities like that and like mr nalin silva pointed out there has been a majority of scrappy play but that is mostly due to the match exposure but certainly a uh, tournament of this magnitude with all the corporate sponsors coming in and with a huge uh, guidance and overview from the rugby union i think these players will be exposed. yes definitely from you can see definitely from the next game they will improve 
they will improve. I mean, my experience, as I said, I mean, uh, may, may අපේ ප්‍රේක්ෂකයන්ට ඉතමත් ගරු කරනවා අපි ඒකම කිය යුතුයි අවුරුදු තුනකටපහ අවුරුදු තුනකට පස්සේ මේ වගේ ටූර්නමන්ට් එකක් ඇත්තටම අවුරුදු 10කට අපි ගහලා නැහැ අපි අවුරුදු තුනක් අපිට පොඩ්ඩක්වත් රග්බි කියන ක්‍රීඩාව මේ යෝන් පරපුර අතර සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බැරි වුණා ඉතින් අපි ඊටමත් ගරු කරනවා ශ්‍රී ලංකා රග්බි එකට මේ ස්පොන්සර්ස් ලා නිපෝන් පේන්ස් එලිෆන්ට් හවුස් කොතුමි වෙබ් එක්ස් පේ සමග එකතු වෙලා उत्साहिए in their red zone so right away old wesley under huge pressure ishan this opportunity was created uh, especially to uh, uh, somehow get the talented players the whatever the hidden talents at even yesterday i was made to understand that's a good sign a very positive sign Uh, I don't want to name the club. One of the leading club uh, representatives have come here, and they have chosen some ten players or something for their respective uh, what uh, the clubs uh, for the A Division uh, League tournament, which is uh, going to start from the ninth of December. So that's a good sign. I mean, they are uh, uh, netting their players. That's a that's a good sign. Oh. So there you go the first try of That's the game. Nice try. Had a man on the outside but decide to go himself and didn't do any injustice by finishing off that move. So like we said all Westley just have themselves to blame not getting out of jail, not getting the pressure out and now just uh, increasing the lead to 11 points with the conversion to come. Tarusha Vidyanga the try scorer and with how the game has been going on for all westley they'll really feel the pressure here there you go cuts back inside just managing to somehow ground the ball so mr nalin you said the platform and the reasons for organizing this tournament so yes where where what would be the future what is the outcome expected from this i mean is there no, any they, plans uh, yes. after this tournament on how we take the selected players or the players who shine to the next level is there any plans on that yeah, yeah 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 the reason why we are having this tournament is for the respective clubs to that's a beautiful conversion beautiful there conversion. so science maroons um, extending the lead to 13 points to nil nadun kavisha having a good day with the boot So I'm sorry, Mr. No, no problem. This so this is, this will act as a feeder for the upcoming league tournament, which is we are commencing on the 9th of December, and we'll go on till the 5th of March. So uh, the players, as I said even yesterday, some of the clubs have selected some couple of players from here because we are if you if you see we are there is a shortage of props, especially props. No, so we have already informed the players, or rather the clubs. to come and watch their play and uh, they can they can uh, select whatever they and uh, the the the, uh, the the main clubs can take all these players that is the main aim behind this signs for runs fumbling off that restart but uh, they send the ball out wide no real advantage so the referee will come back for the initial knock forward chance after chance all wesley have him be have received them in abundance but they've just not capitalized them enough and out of your screen of course uh, clouds building over the venue so we can expect some heavy downpour any moment so given how the game has been going so far all wesley who are trying to spread out spread the ball out wide 
you find it really difficult if they continue to do with this pattern so they really need to uh, try another option whereas uh, science maroons have been kicking the ball into the opposition so it might just suit them but all wesley on the charge the ball is loose they need to secure it no 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 no, no. 10 meters from their try line perhaps construct a few phases of their through their forwards Try to grind their way through, but the ball is advantage. lost. Was that knocked forward? No. The referee is in fact playing advantage. Trade off the scrum. So it's another penalty. They cannot for a scrum. Okay, scrum. There you go. <laughs> That's what they do. Quite a sensible call because how the play has been, I think, uh, Science Maroons, their defense has been. Uh, uh, answering all the questions um, you could say all Wesley have been throwing at them so opting for a set piece getting the players together and perhaps using their backs outside of a first phase move because they are in perfect territory here center field scrum 10 meters out bye we need to get this um, scrum correct they have either side of the park to choose from. No, no, no. Advantage. Number nine. Advantage, and the number eight decides to break. So they will have a free play here. Comes out to the number 12. Once again, running across. That's a good tackle. So no real advantage Valdi. there. They'll come back for the penalty again. Okay. Number five takes it quick. Okay. We're rolling. Number four back. Down, five meters away from the try line. Can Noel Wesley score? No, 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 no. And get himself into the game. The forwards trying to grind their way through. Signs Maroons just hanging on for dear life here. Still with possession, Noel Wesley. And yes, they have. There you go. The forwards do the talking for Noel Wesley. And they try to bring themselves into the game. That's number three for Old Wesley. Doing well in the loose play. Here's the replay. Come in. Managed to get the ball out. That was the good thing out of that. And then the, the number three oh, just managing to power his way through from close range and then ground that ball. <laughs> the referee awarding the try. Should be an easy conversion. So really to cut the deficit. Off your screen, the conversion is good. So, despite being a man down, repeated. the Blues, old Wesley, managing to cut down the deficit to just six points. That's something you don't see every time a prop forward taking the conversion, but there you go. <laughs> those days, those days, most of the prop forwards they. they uh, uh, there are players like uh, Chandralal Fernando, I could remember who represented uh, uh, Havelocks, then uh, no even uh, Jay Rodriguez. They took most hey, of the, the prop forwards were the kickers, penalty. Oh, they, they are very good in hey. kicking. And uh, Ishan, uh, uh, the other reason is, now we are commencing the league tournament on the 9th of December. So the, uh, the, uh, the services, three services, that is Army, Navy, Air Force and Police, they have their BT. Yeah, yeah, gonna, so yeah, we yeah, have yeah, planned uh, another tournament, uh, some after five matches, after five ma A division, okay. five matches, because there is a rule to say, if you play uh, five A division matches, you can't play for B team. Right? So we uh, give five weeks uh, a break, and from the sixth week, we are commencing the B division tournament. That is among those four clubs who are, have other, very unfortunately, those days we had B division <laughs> like Mabaras, then CRBs, and all that. But due to uh, uh, financial constraints, they can't have it. But we are trying our best to promote B division as well. 
So that that is the other reason. Then all these players can play for B division, even for Army Navy, Air Force, Police. So that's the other reason why we are having this tournament. So there you go. Huge groundwork done by the Sri Lanka Rugby Football Union. Okay, just play. So much depth of uh, players we have within the system. And that's how we can take the sport forward. And it's nice to see like under 24 games playing, being played all over the country. And grooming these young players as well, preparing them for the next stage of their professional careers or semi-professional careers you could say and giving them that, uh, that platform to reach, uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. in club rugby and eventually representing the Sri Lankan jersey as well so that's nice to see setting up the platform not only through the clubs but uh, using the triforce as well who we have no, no, a huge no, amount of uh, personnel or players who no, take no, up no, the so, the Rugby Football Union putting a lot of thought into this uh, development process and uh, trying to get the development for the future prospects in line. Don't release it, Takala, don't release it. Develop the game for the forward. Takala, don't release it. Going back in the game, Science Maroons uh, inside the old Wesley territory. Takala, don't release. Takala, not releasing. This replay will show you why that penalty was awarded. There you go. First, your tackle. Tackle. Release. He must show a clear release. The player didn't. Just rolled over him and then attempted to get the ball. So, and there you go. That's nice to see some uh, sensible thought process by uh, the Science Maroons camp, taking the three points, extending the lead. Of course, plenty of time left, but it's always. Uh, best to distance yourselves from your opponent and take any opportunity that comes your way once you enter opposition territory. And also, Mr. Nalin, like we said, I mean, these tournaments are also very much possible only because of the backing you receive from a corporate perspective as well. And so Nippon Paints, as well as the other co-sponsors, Elephant House, Webex Pay, Prima Kottumi, have all chipped in. So yes. Their contribution has been immense. Certainly. For, uh, I mean, to prop your development program as well. Definitely. And uh, these are all, most of them are new sponsors, Drink as you see. Come. And uh, Nippon, our main sponsor, has given tremendous <laughs> enthusiasm or uh, encouragement for us to go ahead with these tournaments. It's not an easy task these days, you know, uh, going through our country, is going through a tough time. So it is our duty as the uh, Sri Lanka rugby for give them the maximum that we could give. That's why we are covering, trying our best to cover this on, on TV as well. So uh, to be fair by them, right? So that is the main reason. And even to cover uh, 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 under 22 tournaments, under 24 tournaments, uh, giving TV coverage with commentaries and all that, that clearly shows how we respect the, the, the sponsors. Exactly. And like you said, these live pictures brought to you by sportsnow.tv. And like Mr. Nalin De Silva pointed out, this may be an under 24 tournament, but to see thundering runs like that, teams like Old Wesley, Science Maroons, Petersons, all in action. Sportsnow.tv has come forward. It's a debut season for rugby, but giving you proper camera angles, proper pictures, and giving the right full exposure to these young players. So a bit of helter-skelter stuff by both teams. The number 13 for Old Wesley made a thundering run. Not the best of kicks. Straight into the hands of the Science Maroons player. Advantage. Comes it forward. They love it to bounce. Let's touch. And the referee awards a penalty in favor of Science Maroons. Very promising position as well. It may be in the corner of the field, okay. but they cannot fall line out. And try to mold their way forward. 
or even send it out by the other side. I think that was for a high shot or a charge after the kick was made. So Science Maroons play it down, so we're we holding up play and uh, so why not have a go at goal? This man has been tremendous with the boot. Science Maroons uh, number 10. So they are opting for three points. Certainly not the kindest of angles for him to attempt this kick. But why not? If you're confident, go for it. And uh, another three points will really put pressure on all Wesley because they will know they'll really have to counter-attack uh, through tries and not the three points themselves. So Nadun Kavisha attempting another Don't kick at goal. Blue. Almost from the corner flag angle. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Has the distance in, in him? Will he have the angle? Good height. Cuts it. Cuts it inside, but just not enough. And Old Wesley deciding to run from their own try line. <laughs> Tackle is inside the try line. So wrong option there. Could have just thumped it down the park. And lived to fight another day. But now they'll con they concede another five meter scrum. And they'll again put themselves under pressure, so just not proper execution or no, no, no. using the wise wise option here by Old Wesley Sports Club. And they're just inviting pressure onto themselves. Just hit. It's come. Don't move. First thing. Aaron Pereira hasn't found enough space for him to use his speed. There's real jet engines in him. Has shown that in his school rugby career. That has been due to okay. the stop-start nature of uh, this game as well. Coach! Some of the forwards, when they have the option out wide, have decided to Bye. cut back inside and then Set. deny that uh, space was three quarters need. But another scrum for Science Maroons. Good pressure by Old Wesley. Okay. Collect out at the back, but under pressure immediately. No, Somehow no, manages no. to get off that first back, tackle. Back, back. But obviously managed to push them back a good 10 meters or so. Okay, so hey, hey, hey. 15, me 15 meters out from their try line, going sideways. They need to take this into contact and set up the play for either their backs or their fellow forwards. Going lateral is not helping. The number three. Looking for options. And offside, number seven. Offside, says the referee, so they'll get and another penalty. <laughs> Had a free number option there, free play. Number Just uh, number gave away that kick. Number level. But this penalty kick at goal will be a much better <laughs> angle to go ahead with the kick. And uh, old Wesley, number 11, number sees 11. yellow. So Thanks. another player. Of uh, the sin bin, trailing yeah. the game, okay. not what old Wesley would want. Five meter, five meter. Kavin, straight away, pointing for the three points. So, Science Maroon's really confident in their place kicker, and that's what uh, having a place kicker, a good place kicker, brings or gives you. it up and uh, slots it in easy so 19 points science college maroons they now lead the game 19 points to 7 67 minutes gone time running out for old wesley and uh, it's purely their own organization that is really really killing them and, uh, science has uh, produced a lot of sri lankan players 
like in, uh, if to, to name a few Toy Samratunga, I'm sure most people familiar with this name. Uh, Nasim Mohammed, Hilmi Said, then Richard yep. Darmapal, a famous winter court who is now even now playing now for the national team. Then Tuan Shamruk, Asoka Goloswela, Richie Darmapal, then Rukmal Jai Singh. They are top class players. So if I may just add Sanjeev Jai Singh. Yeah, Sanjeev Jai Singh. That's correct. Do I play And to be paired by uh, the no, 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 no. old PCLI, they also have, I, I still remember who have played good rugby with me, who have represented uh, CR and Sri Lanka, Reggie Bartholomew, one of the top win three quarters that we had way back in early 70s. Then uh, Gauda, Musafa, uh, Ransiri Sahabandhu, have you heard of uh, Ransiri Sahabandhu? Uh, famous uh, flanker that we had, I have played uh, with him for Sri Lanka. So, Brai Dore, again another Sri Lankan player who have played uh, good rugby. Uh, Kishan Musafa, Hamil Dean, Kasun De Silva. There are about 20, 25 players from uh, 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 Wesley who have represented Wesley. And in the most recent past, you could say um, Dulaj Pereira, Dulaj yeah, Dulaj 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 Rahul De Silva. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. Spanish. Okay. It's come Shahan here. Dias. Man in front. Joel Pereira, yeah. to, to name a few. Yes. Man in front. Joel Pereira, to name a few. Yes. Man in front. Man in front. So, 70 minutes gone. Science oh, Williams yeah. leading this game, 19 <laughs> points to 7. 10 minutes left, Old Wesley down a man as well, but a try can really liven things up and set things for a grandstand finish. That's a brilliant kick, brings play all the way to the danger zone, the red zone you could say. So Old Wesley, first things first, they need to get this line out right. Their forwards, when building up phases, have okay. shown they are a bit organized and have that uh, edge over their the line. rooms, counterparts. The line. So Number 10. Get this line out right, either up for a rolling mall hey, hey. or use their heavy forwards to rumble this way, rumble this through. Play. The line out is fumbled. That no should forward. be a Knock forward, says referee, yes. Knock forward. Commentator's curse. Just when you need to get the line out right, you fumble with it and throw away another attacking opportunity. So another aspect of this game would be how these teams have uh, managed their set pieces. Uh, Mr. Nalin? Set pieces, uh, as I said, of course, you have to brush up. Uh, okay, ready, boy? Uh, they have to skill-wise, they have to... Bind properly, I can Five. see they're, they're not uh, good, in, good at binding Ready. properly. That's why the uh, the it's getting loose and uh, the, the ball is not coming okay. out properly, you know. So, uh, that, that, that again, I, I say due to lack of experience, you know, they have, they have not played as a team for a long time. You can you can clearly identify that. So, it will, it will definitely improve by the next, uh, probably maybe hey. next two matches, they will, you wait and see. There will be a vast improvement in these games. Huge done right the number 13, but then gets a high shot. The linesman signals it, so a yellow card could be on the way. Science Maroons can find themselves another player down as well. <laughs> will come back for that Time penalty, off. and I'm pretty sure number the linesman two. will flag. The Science College, the Science Maroons player I'm looking. Yellow card. high shot and yes, Dangerous yellow player. card. And I think rightly so. Mark, yeah. There are a couple of players whom I have tell identified. Me, tell me, tell me, they are playing well. They are definitely playing well. Play. Old Wesley going into contact. That's the number eight. He represented Wesley College first 15 this year, I believe. So straight out of school, but there you go, drop ball, and the ball is thumped forward. 
Line out. Blue ball. So science Maroon have used that advantage of the knock-on, but uh, oh. a good gain oh. in terms of territory there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Just need to hold on to the ball. Hurry, Both hurry, teams hurry. have been guilty of it, not treating the ball hurry, with hurry. a bit more respect. Thumped forward, just running out of the play. Had it bounced the other way, could have been uh, game over for Old Wesley, you could say. The other thing that I want to point out is Blue ball. we are playing all these games according to international standards. Hatarai, hatarai. Uh, even the doctors, the ambulances, the medical part of it, uh, if, uh, the referees, the officials, everything Good. is according to world rugby standards. So. We want to maintain a proper standard uh, call, uh, hold, hold. for even no, the other. Uh, Release it! No! No, no, no. Play, play, this can. Just okay. Hey, 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 number eight. See, see. So, well, Wesley, three games. Oh, I went, I went, red, I went. Advantage. Top his feet. So that is playing advantage. <laughs> decides to use the box kick, but uh, no advantage. So the referee will come back for the initial infringement. So science uh, Maroons won't uh, mind this at all because they are the right uh, side of the park, they would say. And it's old Wesley who have to somehow fit themselves into the other side of the pitch. And try to launch an attack and try to make a game of this. At the moment, it's just all scrappy. Even the opportunities which have been coming their way, Red. which have been presenting Red. itself, you would say, Red. have just not been so um, capitalized on. Cross Number 19. So, Mr. Nalin, another quick question: Like, Good. was this uh, tournament, Move. or was this in the drawing boards for some time, or did the newly appointed rugby uh, union president uh, decide, like, okay, we need to get this up and running because it's just not uh, enough if we just develop club rugby and play sevens? It, was this a plan? Because it didn't happen for ten years. So, yes. Now, very, very, very thing, good question that you ask. Uh, in fact, I was just about to say, if you have observed the new committee led by uh, our new president, okay, Mr. Risley Elias, come here. His, uh, uh, his theory was uh, to get the provinces involved. So, we, we, from the time that we took over office, if you observe, we had some tournament, back-to-back -back tournament, from the time that we took over, about six months, six weeks ago, back-to-back -back tournament. Time on! Right? Uh, maybe ball. seven aside, development seven okay. aside, out, out, out. ladies, uh, university, uh, the ladies and taking and part in tournament, then uh, national and seven aside, national seven aside. So likewise, so, uh, this was there from the time that we took over. We said there should be a under 24 tournament for the reasons which I mentioned uh, at the inception. Uh, that is, th they have been starving for matches. Why hundred? We estimated 500 players who have come out Five. of schools without matches for three years. Set. I mean, it's a very sad story for as long as rugby is concerned. So this yes, okay. tournament was there in, on the cards from the inception. Only pro uh, issue that we had was not a problem. Actually, the issue, the challenge that we had was the finding the sponsors. Thank God for the sponsors. And that too is not easy to ask. I think I'm pretty sure the rugby union has a special committee or a, a corporate uh, sponsorship finding yes. committee yes. that this organized as well. Because, like you said, you, these are tough times, and finding the commercial partners, oh. the financial partners to get your projects underway is a separate task altogether. Sure, they are not that you know aligned with, the, of course, Nippon Paint from Japan. They are quite uh, conversant with the subject, right? But new to Sri Lanka. So, the, I mean, thank God for their management. Really appreciate this. So, even likewise, the others, all newcomers. All newcomers. So, uh, new sponsors, rather. Uh, the, uh, we, we want to give mileage to them. 
through the provinces as well. Right? Uh, we, uh, the, the, all these, uh, the, the sponsors that we have, the, whatever the products that they have could be uh, developed in, uh, sold in, uh, in the provinces. So we are giving them mileage through provinces. Not back, not That's back. why you have all the provinces also taking away, part blue, in this tournament, away. under 18. At the, at the moment there are two, two games going on now at this particular moment that uh, I'm sure you must be knowing that uh, in, uh, uh, to name, in uh, Uwa, in Uwa North there is Western Uwa, province taking ah, on Central province and Uwa province taking on uh, Western, Western province. province. North Western province taking on Central province. Central province. Yes. So there are two matches going on at the moment. So this is the thing that we want to create. New thing. It is actually revolutionizing the whole system that we have. Uh, after three years, uh, we have to do something new to uh, create enthusiasm among the even the youngsters that we have and the parents if you see if you see the ground there are a lot of parents who are here i, I really yeah, like that, you know parents their yeah. fiancés uh, have come in. yesterday i saw a lot of young mothers with their small uh, children coming and watching these players because the fathers come play on. Come though they are 24 years you know A good rolling mall by the Science Maroons players. Unfortunately, comes short. They send out the ball wide, but they've lost the width because they ran laterally. That's something they need to correct themselves in the next game. But the referee will come back for another penalty. Captain Brett. This could be. They are penalty. Oh, they are penalty. In fact, they have two penalties here. Given the time, given how the game has gone, wisest thing would be select the best angle for a three-pointer. And uh, yes, ten meter charging wall charge. So just under three minutes left. No, no, and another four, penalty four. kick at goal. I would say the correct ten. choice. Four minutes, and just this would really seal the game if it had not been all together. Five meters. And Mr. Narin, like you said, since we are getting all the provinces involved as well, I mean, majority of clubs are from Colombo, and then you have Candy Sports Club in Candy, so from Central Province. So, what is the program where we can retain all these players for North, uh, I mean, Uwa Province and you know North Central Province? How can we retain these players? Is there any scope for them, like uh, any other club where they can continue apart from this tournament? That's correct. That's a very good the, the thing that we, you know, aim at with the Sri Lanka rugby is get the provinces involved, build our base as much as possible. So you have many more tournaments, retain the players, retain the players. Everybody can't be a national player. So you have, you know, tiers, uh, the, the next level, the B division level, you have tournaments, a lot of tournaments. Right, C division. We want to introduce C division as well. Tournaments again. So you cater for all the players who are getting involved in provinces, like you know cricket. Now we have observed about 70, point, 70 percent of our players who are representing the national team are from rural areas. Central province, Kurunayagala. Okay. Uh, some from the east. Uh, the the, the uh, Colombo. Unlike those days. Colombo crowd is now about 20%. So you have to understand the, the importance Play of on. getting the players from provinces involved. So like what we are doing is now is the, uh, uh, building the base in the provinces. That's why we are taking a lot of pride. Even the national sevens that we had for the first time, 400 yeah, women and women took part, out of which blue ball, blue ball. about blue 300 ball, blue ball. were from the, the provinces. 300 players. Numbers, and numbers. It has a fantastic tour. Numbers. First, even here, this Aye. one, uh, about 50% of the players are from provinces, Aye. or 60%. So okay. we are giving a lot of reference to provinces. Okay. And no. tournaments. Tournaments. No, 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 really. You have to create tournaments. Lot of tournaments. Allow them to play so many matches. That, that's how you can retain the players. 
stuck on. Something like uh, you could say PG, that's for their sevens. Yes. Tournaments throughout the month, throughout oh, the week. Yes. Yes. That's why they have so many players where they're strong for sevens and they highlight it. And that's how they focus on it as well. And uh, these, uh, these teams, the provincial teams, they're not clubs. They're provincial teams. So we have given the opportunity to provincial Time off. Uh, create some teams from among them. Number three. In time to come, what Number we have been doing now, say province A team, province B team. So likewise, we can create so many things out of it. Well, that should be the end goal. I mean, create the rugby culture throughout the island. Sure. And that would generate huge amounts of interest. You must not forget the most, uh, in schools, okay. the most popular game in Sri Lanka as far as schools are concerned is rugby. Oh, I mean, mean, with all due respect to other sports, but rugby is also, so the boys coming out of schools, you have to cater for them. That is what we are trying to do. Time on! There you go. It's not only explaining that this project from the Rugby Football Union, Five. Sri Lanka Rugby Football Union, headed by Mr. Rizal, is <laughs> flash in the pan. It's a long-term project, long thought-out process implemented here. Retain players, retain the young players, and build the rugby culture and fortify it. And this game is in its uh, final stages. Science Maroons have wrapped it all up. High hanging kick straight to the Wesley, old Wesley number 13. Has been dangerous on loose play but just hasn't had the finishing touches in him or the supporting okay. support ball, ball, ball. from his fellow runners. Okay, okay play. Referee no allows on. play to go on. Release it, release it! That was uh, kind of a dangerous play. I think uh, lifted the player to his shoulder. I don't think there was any arms involved, but the referee loves it to go on. The Science Maroons there conceding another penalty for a high shot. Gunatilaka sending it out wide. Could rush defense. The gap is closed by the Science players. Loose ball, thumped forward. The referee allowing it to play. Knock forward. And that was a knock Advantage forward, says the referee. Probably the final moments in this game. Last play. Mark here. And the referee says, last play it knock is. On. Last play. So the science Maroons <laughs> can kick this out and bring a okay, closure. You were right, you were right. And you have to say, in an attacking sense, I think Science Maroons deserve this win. Um, Wesley, call it Wesley, or Wesley has tried their best, you could say, to improvise and show some attacking prowess, but uh, the execution has been all over the place. Not organized in defense as well as uh, in attack. And you could say Science Maroon have just been on the better side and have been able to capitalize on the opportunities they have got and okay, once okay. Uh, they Ready? knew that uh, they keep on um, conceding so many penalties Coach! I think it was uh, good on uh, Science Maroon as well who kept on um, capitalizing the penalties received okay, okay, okay. and of course Science Maroons had the luxury of a brilliant place hey. kicker in Nadun Kavisha there he is kicks it out to that <laughs> Science Maroons registered their first win in their first game. 22 points to 7. It finishes here at the Thurston College Rugby Grounds. And a deserved victory for the men in red. Thank you. And good sportsmanship shown here by both set of players, of course. Most of them are friends, played for school against each other, but then again. They know each other very well. And that's what rugby is all about. Okay, thank you. Oh, may I go, may I go. 80 minutes of uh, tackling, <laughs> <with> bruising <laughs> tackles. <laughs> and then it's all good in the end of the day. That's really nice to see. All players in smile, both players, sets of players in smile. And the full-time summary, yeah. Science Maroons emerging victorious 22 points to 7 over Old Wesleyites. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, the highlights 
and a lot to speak about in the second half. This was the first uh, points on the board for Science Maroons. Naveen, two back-to-back penalties, this one just before the half-time break, giving his team a six points to nil lead. And this was the first try by Science Maroons, the number eight in the line, crashing his way through. The only try for Science Maroons in the game and a brilliant conversion as well to extend the lead. But then Old Wesley came back stronger to their forwards. Scored a brilliant try. This was their prop forward, the number three, who crashed in from close range, cut down the deficit. But uh, there was no uphill momentum from there onwards because uh, Science Maroons then capitalized on the mistakes, the continuous mistakes, you could say, penalty after penalty by the men in blue. And their fly half made no mistakes with the kicks at goal. So, three consecutive penalties there onwards. Brilliant kicking at goal. And Science Maroons, there you go. One try apiece, but uh, the penalty kicks at goal really told a real story. And Science Maroons ending up victorious. So that will be it from us here at Thurston College Rugby Grounds. A b good game of rugby between uh, Old Wesley and Science Maroon comes to an end. So on behalf of SportsNow.tv and uh, Mr. Nalini De Silva and myself, a very good night to all. The largest paint supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Nippon paints live with colors.
Live with trust. Live with dreams. Live with happiness. Inspire your life with colors. Nippon Paint. supplier of Japanese vehicles. Original equipment manufacturer approved Max Premila 2K is the most premium quality auto refinishing solution you will ever need. Nippon paints live with colors. Wow, 